Hey Katie. Hey Sarah. It's great to meet up with you again for another Mozart snapshot. Thanks, it's great to see you, as always. So where are we going today? Well, today we are going to Cafe Tomaselli, the oldest coffee house in Salzburg. I heard Mozart was often there. He was, but in his day it was called Cafe Steiger. Oh, okay, so when was it founded? Well, it's been there since 1764, but its origins actually go back all the way to 1700. How's that? Well, on March 31, 1700, a Frenchman by the name of Johann Fontaine obtained trade approval to sell chocolate and coffee. And so right at this very house, Goldgasse No. 5, he opened the very first coffee house here in Salzburg, and it was called the Café de Volva. And how is it related to Café Tomaselli? Well, because it was a rather rowdy place and it went through a number of different owners until 1753 when it was purchased by a man named Anton Steiger. Eleven years later, Anton Steiger then purchased a house on the Alter Markt and moved the cafe there, renaming it Cafe Steiger and setting it up right there on Alter Markt number nine. And that's the present-day address of Café Tomaselli. That's right, and so there has been a coffee house there ever since, and from the very first moment, it was extremely popular with the local Salzburgers. Including Mozart? Yes. And do you know what kind of coffee Mozart drank there? Well, he didn't actually typically drink coffee there. According to music historians, he preferred to drink chocolate because it was good for the blood vessels and um, almond milk because it helped against hemorrhoids, which actually were common in those days because of the cold apartments. That's interesting. It is. But uh, probably the reason that Mozart went there was more related to the fact that at the Café Steiger, it was one of the few places in town where there was a publicly accessible billiard table. And in 1772, Anton Steiger had obtained permission to have gaming tables. And so on the first floor above the, above the ground floor where the cafe was, he had a gaming room. As we know, Mozart loved to play billiards. He certainly did. <laughs> but did Mozart ever drink coffee then? Yes, he definitely did drink coffee. And we know that because he wrote a letter to his wife in 1791, where he comments that when she left, uh, he played two games of billiards. Uh, ordered a strong black coffee and smoked a pipe. I guess it helped to compose. It did, and it was probably even on his mind when he composed because he even mentions coffee in Don Giovanni, his great opera. Really? Yes. There is a scene where Massetto and his friends are offered both chocolate and coffee by Don Giovanni because Don Giovanni is hoping that it will make their merriment more increased and so Massetto won't notice that his uh, fiancée, Zerlina, has actually been abducted. That's funny. Well, coffee was the rage in Europe in the 1700s. Yes, it was. And Mozart was very um, interested in the trends of the day. And in fact, he would take even the smallest thing and use it as inspiration for his art. But so I guess Mozart must have known Anton Steiger since he was so often in the coffee house. Yes, they were good friends of the Mozart family because Anton Steiger and his wife were both great music lovers and particular fans of Mozart. And so the Mozarts were not only often at the cafe, but they were also visiting their house personally. But when and why was the cafe Steiger named Cafe Tomaselli? Well, because in the year 1852, it was purchased by a man named Carl Tomaselli. And I guess this man was Italian. How did you guess? <laughs> um, yes, because Carl's father, Giuseppe Tomaselli, had actually moved to Salzburg from Milan in 1781. And he was a tenor himself and had gotten a job at the Salzburg court. And by the way, right behind us is Cafe Tomaselli. And getting back to Mr. Tomaselli, uh -huh. did you know Mozart as well? Well, this was the same time that Mozart had just moved to Vienna, so he didn't get to know Mozart very well. But he did become very close friends with the Mozart family. And actually, he performed regularly with Leopold and uh, Mozart's sister, Nano. Small world. It is indeed. And one thing that even makes it even a smaller world is that right up there, above Café Tomaselli, um, Mozart's widow, Constanza, lived with her second husband beginning around the year 1820. And the history continues on. It certainly Well, does. shall we try a cup of almond milk and hot chocolate here in Café Tomaselli? Yeah, of course. Perfect, let's go inside.
Thank you.